Hello, this is uh, Everett, and uh, I've had a couple people ask me, um, uh, based on my uh, last uh, video blog, on uh, repairing this uh, lead-in to a bridge span um, I have here, going across those gaps. Some people ask me, okay, well, how do you build one of these? And uh, this... Um, my method was fa it's a fairly simple um, way of doing it. I mean, the, this is a lift-out bridge, and you've got uh, you got the ones you've probably seen them in Model Railroader magazine where they uh, swing out on hinges. I went for the lift-out option because uh, right now the way things are placed, there's no good way for them or place for them to swing where they just won't be in the way. So I opted for doing a lift-out bridge, and uh, since I already have them built. I can't uh, basically build one in front of you and show you how to build it, but I can show you what I did uh, to give you some ideas how you might uh, uh, do the same thing. Um, first of all, I made sure that uh, both ends of the gap that were going to be spanned were uh, um, very um, securely um, screwed in place against uh, something sturdy. You know, like here, I've got this uh, support post here. I've got this part. Um, of the uh, of the road bed and the frame securely put against here and then uh, I put in a 2x4 and uh, securely screwed it against the uh, frame here the, the box frame for the layout and so that's uh, that's very solid uh, in place and I think I may have glued it over in here too uh, to get that in place um, same thing over here I uh, made this um, put screwed this on to this uh, 2x4. It's also a part of the uh, support, so it also is very sturdy because you don't want these things shifting uh, too much. I mean, you may have problems with uh, expansion during um, the winter and uh, the effects of humidity. At, uh, if you have a fairly dry house or with a good humidifier in the basement, that should minimize um, those problems. So anyway, I made sure I had uh, good supports in place. And uh, next thing I did, now let me uh, go take one of these. I got two spans here. Got them on these shelves. So I took a piece of wood, three quarter inch. Let me go put it on in place like that. And uh, what I did was I cut it um, lengthwise. I think this is like a three and a half, uh, four inches wide. And I uh, cut it longer um, than the span itself. And I rested it down. I didn't have any of the tracks in place here. I just uh, rested it on here, rested the other one on there, and then took a pencil. And that was before I put these in place. Um, I went underneath with the pencil and just drew the line uh, on the bottom of the wood. So then I cut them um, along the line at the angle to get, uh, get it to fit correctly against here. Hopefully I'm making sense. I'm not necessarily that articulate on the fly, but uh, you probably can see what I what I did. So I just cut the piece longer, let it rest on there, and then drew underneath it with a pencil to get the correct angle. So, okay, uh, hopefully you got that. And then to reinforce the bridge, simple reinforcement method, patted it so people don't bang their heads. I took these uh, L brackets. I think these are three quarter inch, uh, maybe one inch, I don't know. Anyway, um, this uh, angle iron, I think it's called. Yeah, angle iron. Anyway, I drilled some holes into it and uh, screwed it on to the span so um, we don't get uh, to stabilize it so it doesn't uh, warp or bend easily. And uh, that's worked uh, pretty darn well to keep things stable. And so I run it almost all the way the full length. I can't remember how long. Actually, I think these were three foot lengths. I don't think I had to cut these down. So in my particular case, this is like three foot long and they just happen to be just the right length, you know, so I didn't have to cut the metal down. Your situation may be different. Um, so I, I went ahead, like I said, drilled, hole, drilled holes, um, put screws um, underneath into the wood so it's uh, nice and stable. Had the screws come out here a little bit, but I cut them down with the uh, Dremel, Dremel Moto tool and uh, kind of sanded them down a little bit so they don't uh, look too bad. 
Anyway, uh, next thing I did was I needed to put something in place, I mean to hold it in place, a pin. Uh, so I did uh, one uh, pin on either side. I used a, I think a 3 8 inch dowel and drilled a hole in here and then drilled a hole in the bottom here. So I go, slide right on. You can see, go straight down, slides right on like that. There, holds it in place, pretty good.